Um, Shake, um, here in America, I'm an urban explorer. Uh, I usually like to explore abandoned areas. I've been to abandoned asylums, abandoned caves, abandoned mines, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I actually visited France a couple of years back and I explored the catacombs. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything online that pertains to this. I'm not sure if urban exploration in and of itself is haram or halal. So I was just wondering if you could clear up this issue for me. May Allah bless you. What's your objective, Muhammad, from this? Um, for me, you know, I don't go to parties. I don't go to concerts. For me, when I go urban exploring, I get a really uh, large sense, sorry, a very large rush of adrenaline, and it's just really fun. And I find it so fulfilling. So that is my main objective. It's just like the sense of adventure. And do you, Do you go alone? Uh, yes, sir, I do. And is it dangerous? Um, there is an element of danger to it. That's a good question, actually. There is an element of danger to it sometimes, but it's really rare. Okay, so basically speaking, traveling alone is not recommended in Islam. See, Islam encourages unity and being in congregation. The Prophet said, a rider is a devil. Two riders are two devils. Three riders are a convoy or a group in a journey. So it is highly recommended that when you travel, you travel with a group of Muslims to have your back, to help you when you're in need, and not to be like someone who goes mountain climbing, for example, and then he's stranded and no one to help him, and in order to save himself, he cuts his hand off. Why did you go there in the first place? So traveling, traveling alone is not recommended in Islam. This is when a person is prone to the whispers of shaitan more than anyone else. Imagine yourself in the Rockies uh, camping alone in a tent, and all what you hear are coyotes, and uh, uh, wolves and scorpions <laughs> and everything is around you. What do you think shaitan is going to say to you? Trust Allah. Say the dua. Yeah, and this is unheard of. Secondly, endangering yourself. You're just telling me that you go into caves. And we know what may await you in caves. These are, yes, they, they may pump adrenaline in your veins and you may get the rush out of it but is it something that islam promotes or encourages the answer is no it's a waste of money waste of time and as you've said you've done it for so many times and years and you've not discovered a treasure that would make you wealthy for the rest of your life or a historical uh, uh, forgotten uh, continent or uh, a city. It's, it's just waste of money. Yes, you may find enjoyment in it, but it is not something that may add value to you as a Muslim. Focus your effort, Akhi. Focus your uh, 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 energy. Invest the money you want to spend in something that would get you closer to Allah. If we were to say it's a permissible thing, it's a permissible thing. It doesn't gain you any reward or hasanat or any closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. If we were to say it's permissible, let alone if there are any haram things as I've mentioned to you, and may Allah make things uh, easy.